Left Peru and sailed to England alone There he met the Browns and they took him home Now a new life has begun He's Windsor Gardens' favorite son Cause he always does his best to help everyone When a problem appears He never misses a beat And always finds a way to land on his feet his very own unique point of view Looks at everything as if it's brand new He is friendly and polite And he tries to do things right But he gets in sticky messes just the same He's curious and speaks his mind But trouble's never far behind It's Paddington Bear, he's one of a kind I'm Paddington Bear Sleepy, you are getting sleepy, so very sleepy. No, we're not, Paddington. We've only just woken up. I didn't mean you, Mr. Brown. I meant me. I'm trying to hypnotise myself with this book Mr. Gruber gave me. Hypnosis for beginners? Hmm, mesmerising, I'm sure. I wouldn't go hypnotising yourself, Paddington. It could be dangerous. Who'd bring you out of it? Hmm. I hadn't thought of that, Mrs Brown. You just need to find yourself some suitable subjects. I didn't mean us. Shh, Henry. You're interrupting the amazing Paddington. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to be, uh, um, amazed. Thank you. Thank you. What's going on? It sounds like a party. Why haven't I been invited? Can I have a volunteer from the audience? Thank you, madame. But I want to go shopping before the market gets too crowded. Then again, I suppose I could spare a few minutes. That's it. Just relax. You are getting sleepy. Sleepy. You are getting sleepy. Mrs. Bird, can you hear me? Hello? Oh. The subject is now in a deep hypnotic trance. Mrs. Bird, every time you hear the sound of a horn, you will act like the first animal that pops into your mind. Oh, oh goodness. Look at the time. I dozed off. I must get on with the shopping. Never mind, Paddington. Mrs. Bird is a very tough subject. It takes a pretty weak mind to be hypnotised. Ribbit. Perhaps the horn Mr. Gruber gave me isn't working properly. <laughs> what happened? I, I must have blacked out. That's what comes of running out of breakfast cereal. I must get some provisions from the market. Please keep an eye open for the taxi I called for, Paddington. I don't want to be late for my meeting. Yes, Mr. Brown. Still wasting time with hypnosis, Bear. You must be a mind reader, Mr. Curry. Unless you've been spying again. Spying? I've done nothing of the sort. Anyone with half a mind knows hypnosis is hokum. Tried it myself to prevent snoring to no effect. My mind is a mystery. That's what Mrs. Bird always says. That'll be Mr. Brown's taxi. I'd better get him. <laughs> Blimey! He doesn't need a cab. He needs someone to take him to the loony bin. Help! What were you doing on my roof, man? I, 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 I have no idea. I think perhaps I've been overworking. I don't think it could be that. Mrs. Bird always says you've never done a day's work in your life, Mr. Curry. I, I'll feel much better once I've been to the grocer's to get some breakfast. I think Paddington had better go with you. Just in case. How many times do I have to tell you, Bear, there's nothing wrong with me? 
Support our furry friends. Join the March for Animals today. Do I look like the sort of man who would make a public spectacle of himself? There's Mr. Gruber. Mr. Brown, where are you off to today? Mr. Curry and I are going to the cut price grocer. Uh, Mr. Curry? I better see if I can find him. <laughs> Come back, you miserable cur! Crazy mutt. There you are, Mr. Curry. I see you've already done some shopping. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about, Bear? Are we going to the cut price grocer or not? And to think this rabble wanted me to join their protest. Come on, Bear. Oh dear, I'm stuck. Paddington, what are you doing here? Mr. Brown sent me with Mr. Curry in case he has another of his funny turns. Funny turns? <laughs> Come on, Sunshine! I'm never going to get my deliveries done at this rate! Sir, but you're disturbing the other customers. Unhand me! There's been a mistake! Acting like a cow. This is terrible. Oh, I'm sure you made a very good cow, Mr. Curry. Will you please all get out of my way? Mercy me. Paddington, your hypnosis act must have worked better than anyone imagined. We'd better catch Mr. Curry. You better snap him out of it before he lays an egg. Where, where am I? What's going on? I think I must have hypnotized you by mistake, Mr. Curry. What? It's your own fault for being such a nosy Parker. Now calm down, and Paddington will unhypnotize you. I haven't got to that part yet. Meow! Why don't you leave Mr. Curry Meow. like this for a little while? He's much nicer than usual. Mr. Gruber. You could say that, Mr. Brown. Not my cup of tea, though. Tea? What a good idea. And a cream donut would go down well. Mr. Gruber! Ready for your backstage tour of my amusement park? Say, are you all right? Oh, yes. Why, yes, I'm fine. It's just the jet lag catching up with me. This is quite a park you have here, Mr. Daniels. <laughs> this is nothing. Follow me, because I have a big surprise for you. I wonder where Mr. Brown has got to. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. You're not from darkest Peru, are you? <laughs> ah, this must be Mr. Brown. Glad to have you along. But please, let's hurry to Pirate World. This, my friends, is the most technologically advanced theme park ride in the world. May I welcome you to Pirate World. You two are the first to see this, even before the preview we have planned for the media today. I don't think I've ever met a real pirate before. Good afternoon, Mr. Redbeard, I presume. Avast, ye scurvy scum! Watch your tongue! But... No buts! On guard! Huh? Hey! Ah. 
It's lucky for you Mrs. Bird isn't here. She'd give you an armed guard with her umbrella. <laughs> You've been swashbuckled, Mr. Brown. That's Redbeard. He and his crew are the world's first fuzzy logic computerized robot pirates. A fuzzy logic pirate? He doesn't look very fuzzy to me. Each pirate setting has its own Redbeard and pirate robots, all linked by computer. I'll show you some of the other settings. And here we are, back where we started. This is where the whole thing erupts into a fiery conclusion. Hope, oh, would you look at the time? The reporters are waiting for me to start the first official boat ride. You can head up to the command center right through here. We'll see you after the ride. I still can't believe these pirates aren't alive, Mr. Gruber. They even feel real. Oh! A vast sea serpent hell! Menu overboard abandoned. Oh no, Mr. Brown. You've short circuited Redbeard. I'd better get Mr. Daniels. Don't worry, Mr. Gruber. I'll think of something. Avast, reporters! Due to technical difficulties, arr, the part of Redbeard will be played by Brownbeard! <laughs> if only Mrs. Bird could see me now. After six years of development and construction, you are about to experience the most technologically advanced ride in the history of theme parks. Excuse me, Mr. Daniels, but... Here we go. Got the cameras running, Willie? Wow. <laughs> hey, what? Oh, I'll be ruined. Come on, oh. we have to do something. Avast! This village never expected the likes of Brownbeard! Brownbeard? Why, that's Mr. Brown. This is great! Wow! Yeah. Arr, here come the Navy to grab our booty! Shall we blast him, Redbeard? Brownbeard, if you don't mind, ye swabby! Open fire! Shots aren't even close. That got their attention, mateys. Fire at will. You heard it, boys. Oh, Come and get it if you want. Oh, that is it. Oh, oh, look at that. He's firing at the reporters. Oh, oh I beg your pardon, Mr. Daniels. Um, I mean, uh, I'm sorry I missed. He knew Marvelous his interactivity. That shot this was close. is fantastic. Oh. 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 Well, shiver me timbers, lads. There be the boatloads of bilge rats who set the fires. We have to get in their boats. Shall we swing in from the mainsail mast, Captain? Um, why not? I mean, um, aha! You do that whilst I engage in dangerous sword play. Thank goodness. It looks like the show is back on track. Did Mr. Brown do that? Oh, no. The explosion's part of the ride. Then your ride is a success. Dahar! Blimey, mateys! Swing from the yard arms! An experience of a lifetime! You've done it again, Mr. Daniels. The pirate bear was a great twist. This one's really gonna put your amusement park on the map. I think I must have pushed the wrong button by mistake. No apologies. Didn't you hear the reporters? Brown Beard is a smash! Say, how'd you like to work for me in Pirate World full-time? That's very kind of you, Mr. Daniels, but I think I have an even better idea. A varsity lance! <sighs> Why did I take this job? What are you 
you up to, Bear? I'm planning to spend the afternoon in Mr. Brown's hammock, Mr. Curry. Lying around in a hammock, eh? It's very relaxing, especially with a glass of ice-cold lemonade to sip. You should try it sometime. Don't mind if I do. Mr. Curry, are you all right? No, I am not all right. I think you've broken my toe. Let me help you up. Stay away from me. Perhaps you shouldn't walk on it, Mr. Curry. When Mr. Brown sprained his ankle, the doctor told him to rest in his bed for a week. Mm. But, Mr. Curry, I didn't mean Mr. Brown's bed. Don't you think your own bed will be more comfortable? I'm very happy where I am, except I shall need some ice for my ankle. Your ankle? I thought it was your toe. Uh, yes, well, uh, it's both. Hello, Paddington. Is that ice? Yes, Mr. Brown. Whatever is it for? It's rather a long story, Mrs. Brown. <sighs> You'll have to tell it to me later. I'm going up to my bed to lie down. I wouldn't if I were you, Mrs. Brown. Why ever not, dear? You'll see. It's not a somebody, Mrs. Brown. It's Mr. Curry. He's hurt his toe and his ankle, so he's come to recuperate. Mr. Curry? In our bed? What's he doing there? Recuperating. Henry, do something. I am not having Mr. Curry in my bed. Tell him it isn't convenient. Yes, dear. You'll have to be firm with him. You know what he's like. Absolutely. Firm. Mr. Curry? Thank goodness someone's come. I'm in such pain. My knee! Knee? It was your ankle just now. It uh, spread. I'm uh, sorry to hear that, but... Uh... <sighs> Mrs. Bird said to be firm. <clears throat> Now, Mr. Curry, I've come to explain that... Did that bear of yours tell you this is all his fault? How? Things do have a way of happening, but... But if you want me to go, if it's too much trouble to look after me after I've been damaged by your bear, just say the word and I'll go home. Though I wonder what the authorities would say if they found out. dressing gown you gave me for our anniversary, dear? A good host is happy to share, isn't he, Mr. Brown? <laughs> Bear, open that window. It's stuffy in here. Oh, oh! Mrs. Brown, would you fluff my pillow? Huh? And I need another blanket. It's freezing in here. Here you are, Mr. Curry. Tomato soup, just like you wanted. Where's the bread? You don't expect me to eat soup without bread, do you? Whoa! Whoa. Bread. <laughs> this soup is dreadful, and there's hardly any of it. I'd like another helping. Why don't you get it yourself, Mr. Curry? I can't walk. Thanks to that bear of yours, my thigh is bruised. Now listen to me, Mr. Curry. You're taking advantage of Paddington and the Browns. I can leave if Mr. Brown wants to throw me out on the street in front of all his neighbours. I just hope no one calls the police. Now, Mrs. Bird, we don't want Mr. Curry getting too excited. After all, he's not well. Oh. We're going out shopping, Henry. I can't stand it another moment. I hope you've got rid of Mr. Curry by the time we get back. Hear, hear. Either that man goes, or I do. Bear! Bear! Where's that snack? Work, work, be a good host. Help, help, give it your most. If your guests should 
need some care, be real helpful while they're there. Sometimes it takes sacrifice to wait on someone who's not nice. Work, work, work be a good host, help, help, give it your most. Work, 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 be a good host, Light, turn down the bed, fluff a pillow for their head, close the window, shut the door, a nice warm blanket, anything more? If it's a nap they want to take, keep it quiet so they won't wake. Work, work, be a good host, help, help, give it your most work, work, be a good host, work. <sighs> Are you people trying to starve me? <sighs> That's all right, Mr. Brown. It's my turn. <sighs> Didn't you bring me anything to eat? I'm afraid you've eaten everything, Mr. Curry. There's not a crumb left in the whole house. Are you sure? Yes, Mr. Curry. I'll bet there's a sandwich under your hat. No! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, oh, Mr. Curry, this is wonderful. You're cured. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm worse than ever. Oh. oh. More tea, Mr. Curry? <gasps> but, Mr. Curry! Henry, we're home. I'm sorry. We shouldn't have left you all alone with Mr. Curry. We're back to do what we can. Stay away from me, Bear! Yow! Ah! Oh, my ankle! Oh, my knee! Oh, my back! Ah, my elbow! Oh, my foot! Oh, my... Oh, my...